This Saturday marks 20 years since the September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center. Mobile Fire Rescue, as well as the police department, are honoring those we lost on that fateful day. As NBC 15's Ken McGrath reports, it was a very emotional ceremony today. For Rhonda Hines, today was a day to remember. He devoted his life to being a firefighter. And um, this celebration really touched my heart. Her son Josh was a firefighter. He died two months ago of Wagner's disease. It's a syndrome that attacks major organs in the body and destroys your immune system. In Josh's case, the disease shut down his kidneys and eventually had to get his legs amputated after an infection set in. When my son passed away, so many people from the fire departments from here and over there in Alberta where I'm from came out and supported us all. And that really helped, that really helped. Hines joined other firefighter families who lost their loved ones, 30 in all. Today's ceremony was held two days ahead of the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on America. It was a day to share stories, hugs, and tears. Josh Hines joined the Mobile Fire Department following in the footsteps of his older brother. He loved the fire department. That was his family as well. And if anything, if I had to call and try to find him and I couldn't, I knew who to where to call, the fire department, and that's where he was at. Josh left behind a legacy of being a special son, brother, husband, and someone who loved helping children who were less fortunate, especially orphans. Because he saw a kid not able to have any, you know, Christmas with a gift or something, and he just, it just broke his heart. And so he started the program there in Alberta, and they're going to keep doing it. Well, that was Ken McGrath reporting 